If you're looking for a safe, reliable, and secure place to host your Flutter-based web application, look no further. Backfrap got you covered. So, if you need to host a Flutter web application, Backfrap is the perfect place to do so. But in order to achieve that, we have to configure a few things first. Here I have my Flutter app B4A that I just created, so this is an empty application. And we have to configure the web hosting and custom domains. We do that by going to App Settings, Server Settings, and then scrolling down to Web Hosting and Custom Domains, clicking Settings. Activate Back for App Hosting, it will suggest a name here, and the key here is this name must be unique among all the back for app users. So you might have to change the name a few times until you find one that is applicable to you and is not being used by another user. So I'll try this one, the suggested one, so click save. And to test that, I'm going to copy this address. And keep it on my clipboard for a second. I'll go to Cloud Code and just click Deploy so I can deploy a example website to test if it's working. Okay, got it. Open an empty tab and paste my Flutter uh, before a uh, application dot before a dot app. Hit enter. And as you can see, my uh, example website is working now. So I'm ready to deploy my Flutter code. Here in my Visual Studio, I have to create the build so I can deploy it. All I have to do is type Flutter, create, and dot. Hit enter. This will create all the files needed to be uh, compiled for a web-based uh, application. Then I have to type Flutter, create web. Hit enter once again. It will compile everything and generate the web build for me. So now if I expand my build folder here, you see there is a web folder with all the contents that I need inside here. This is the content that we have to upload to back for app and today I'll be using the B4A command line interface to upload this code for me. So from here I'll type B4A new Oops, going back to desktop. Before a new. I'll be using a existing project. The one, it will be this one here, Flutter app before a number 60. I'll have to give it a name. So Alex Flutter app, hit enter and hit Enter once again, so it will create an empty project for me. Now, if I go to Alex Flutter app and open this directory, you see I have two folders here, the cloud folder and the public folder. And all this content from the web build app we have to put inside the public folder. If I open this, you see there is a index HTML file already in there, so I'm going to delete this. And also, I'm going to open this uh, web folder that Flutter created for me, copy all its content, go to my desktop, Alex Flutter app, public, and paste it in here. With that done, all I have to do is from inside my Alex Flutter app, type B4A deploy. This will identify all the new files and upload to back for app. Now that the files were uploaded, we can go back to our Google Chrome, go back to our Cloud Codes uh, uh, section and refresh so we can see uh, the new files. So all the files are here and I have an index, index HTML file that I should be able to open from this URL. So all I have to do here is to fully refresh to ask me for installing Flutter, and there you go, my Flutter application created and deployed to Backfrap with very little effort. So I hope you liked this video and hope to see you on the next one of this series soon. Bye bye! <laughs>